It's spring break time. I don't know what I just did there. A few videos ago, I did a uh, video on my wire management. Remember that? <clears throat> yeah, my wire management really sucks. So I uh, need to really be improving on that aspect of it. But I don't really. I don't improve it. I got no excuses. All I know is I got uh, a lot of haters for it. Mm. Yeah, I gotta improve this one. I'm not gonna lie. I just recently came back from spring break. I have uh, come back home from spring break and one of my goals, one of my hardcore goals was to get a certification that I've been studying for since January 1st. And this certification test happened on this Monday of the spring break and I was like, I'm gonna get this certification and I'm gonna go for it. I get into the testing room and I'm like, I just failed that certification. But then at the end of the day, I ended up getting the certification. I am Security Plus certified. Look at me. I'm just joking, just joking. But the, really, the reason why I pull these papers out, I know you probably can't see this, this picture, but this picture is a picture of the IT nerd right here. I and mean, this is like a great, I couldn't, I couldn't do it any better than this picture right here. I mean, this is gonna be the IT nerd picture. It's, it, it, it's, it's a whole thing, it's a whole thing. Anyway. Hello everyone, my name is Grant Collins. I'm a student in cybersecurity and I just recently got my Security Plus certification. Uh, I'm happy that I finally get to, to say that. Uh, I've been studying hard for it for the last two months and I finally got the certification. This video is not going to address anything that has to do with how I got my certification. Uh, I will be coming out with content later on in this, uh, the, in the next coming, in the coming uh, weeks, and just uh, I, I hope that I can help you understand how I got this certification. But just a quick side note: this book was huge. This book was a big help. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below, but. Again, I'm going to be coming out with a whole video series about how I pass this this certification, and I hope that I can help you uh, get past the the exam if it's a CompTIA exam. Anyway, so as I was uh, completing my certification yesterday, and I and I walked away from the exam, the idea and the thought of you know like, what is the difference between a college degree, as I am a college student, and a certification. I can successfully say I have a certification. Again, it's an entry level security certification. It's not like I'm like some amazing cybersecurity professional. I will be a hacker. But um, uh, I was looking at myself and I was contemplating and I was like, man, there is definitely some differences. Uh, and and, uh, and I think that there is some things that you have to keep in mind when you're either going for a certification or you're going for a college degree. Let's go ahead and get started with certifications as I just completed one. Um, there's two main differences when we, when we think about certifications. When I think about certification, there's, there's two differences that I have come up with compared to a college degree. Starting with number one, which is there's a, you have a particular knowledge in a particular uh, process or objectives. You have particular knowledge in, 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 in the industry. For example, Security Plus is a very broad certification. It's an entry level certification, CompTIA certification. And how many times have I said certification? But the, it is a uh, broad, it covers many different domains within security, nothing that's super in depth. And so what I, what I realized is that certifications show that you are certified or that you are able to uh, have knowledge in a particular area uh, within the industry itself. Now, I'm not saying you can't have that in a college degree, but college degree is really going to be focusing on a few other things, as I'll outline in a few minutes here. The second point is that you are able to successfully apply yourself through those certification exams 
or exercises or labs or whatever it is that you're the particular cert that you're going for. Having said that, you, you know, having the ability to apply yourself, not even just saying, yeah, I know the security plus, but showing, hey, I know the security plus. I went out and took this exam and X, Y, Z, and you did this and that. It shows that you're able to apply your knowledge, not just uh, necessarily get, uh, just say you're qualified. Now, I know a lot of critics out there are going to say, well, CompTIA certifications are completely just all memorization based. But I think CompTIA has done a good job, um, especially after taking the exam of, of implementing some some real life scenarios. Uh, and so I think that's that's awesome that they've been able to do that. And now I go through the college. Uh, in college, I've come up with, with two also differences. So starting with number one is college classes. It just totally depends, but I'm going to go with an undergraduate college degree. Shows and uh, really builds upon the fun fundamentals of IT itself or computer science, whatever it is that you're going into. It's all focused on the fundamentals. Not to say that Security Plus or any of these other kind of entry level certifications are not focusing on the fundamentals. We have to really look at what classes are like in an, an, an undergraduate curriculum, especially for my classes that are really focusing on the fundamentals within IT. They're not getting into anything that's super um, specific, right? And so they're really focusing on the fundamentals, exposing you to different domains. And honestly, by the time you get done with a college degree, it's not like you're really gonna have a particular skill set or knowledge. That's why I don't really love the idea of this whole idea of cybersecurity, uh, but uh, the 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 trendy words continue to, conti to continue to keep going and keep pushing forward. Number two is that college shows that you are able to go through a prolonged process. I've been wondering for the last, I would say, six months as a student, why you even need a college degree especially for some field like IT where they have these certifications where you have projects you can you can do on your computer and you can show that you're knowledgeable and you have certain skill sets and I think one of the the ideas uh, and the conclusions that I come upon is that employers it totally depends but most employers like to see that you have been able to complete a project or a project but a, a something to its entirety College is usually typically a four-year process. An undergraduate degree is usually a four-year process unless you have your associate's degree before. And um, it, it is a prolonged process. Uh, not to say that you can't, uh, th that certifications aren't. There's definitely certifications that take maybe eight, nine, 12 months to study for. But um, in the long term, college degrees show that you are able to complete something. So to just reiterate, to reiterate the conclusions, um, certifications show that you are certified in a certain area. They show that you have certain knowledge. And they also show that you're able to apply that knowledge through given exams, labs, things like that when you are taking the actual exam or test. Whereas a college degree, classes are really focused, uh, the degree itself is really focused on implementing the fundamentals, exposing you to different domains within the industry. And on top of that, it shows that you are able to complete something to its entirety, a prolonged process, no more than more than just one year. It could take three, four years to get your degree. So I hope you find this uh, this video helpful in your in your process. I understand that uh, oftentimes people debate whether they should go get a degree or they should go for a certification. And I do believe that uh, although they are qualified or formal qualifications, I would say that they are and do represent different things and different skill sets within the industry. So I am officially Security Plus certified. And if as you can tell, the IT nerd. Uh, the picture, the picture is not very good, but hey, at least I can make fun of myself. Alrighty, well, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and have a good day.